Hi, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to roast a butternut squash. Okay, I've got my squash here ready to go. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. First thing I'm going to do is cut the ends off with a very sharp knife. You've got to have a sharp knife to do this or else you're going to work yourself to pieces and it could be dangerous along the way because these are, can be pretty hard to cut if you don't have a sharp knife. Now, I'm going to put my knife in there and cut it in half lengthwise. And you see it's a little bit of a job to do, but it's well worth it because roasted butternut squash is so delicious. The flavors are just um, concentrated and just really, really good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is scoop out these seeds. Okay, my seeds are all out. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil. You can use any kind of oil that you've got canola oil, whatever, coconut oil even, and just put a little bit on here and rub it on all sides, the skin side as well, and just lightly coat it with oil. Whoop, there's a seed we're going to get rid of. Do this with both halves, and then I'm going to put them on uh, a baking sheet, and I have parchment paper on the baking sheet. You could grease it as well. I just like to use the parchment paper. You just do this with both of them. It does not take a lot of oil, just a little bit. Okay, you can see I have both halves oiled, they're cut side down on my baking sheet, and I'm going to bake them at 400 degrees for roughly 45 minutes until they're fork tender, and I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. And here's our beautiful roasted butternut squash. I turned one half over so you could see what both sides look like when it's done baking. You can see where I poked it, it's fork tender. And it took about 45 minutes to cook. Yummy, oh, really good. This is an easy, delicious way to cook butternut squash. And let me encourage you to try it. If it works for you, let me know in the comments below. Visit my website, handmadeiniowa.com, to see all the different things that I do. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Have a great day.